We've got some competition. Check it. Way! <laughs> Your camera bag nearly just lost it. Right, John and I have just met him about taking some shots of this beauty. Here he is. Taking a picture of me. Taking a picture. It's picture-ception, dude. Whoa! So what exactly is this video about? Well, something's not quite right. That's a bit better. So, where was I? What exactly is this video about? The video is not gonna be entirely about this car. It's a very nice car. Dream car of mine, it's not mine. Somebody's lent it to me. I've had a YouTube channel for, well, I've had it since May 2016. I've left my original videos up online, but they're not very good. You can have, you can have a look at them. The content is quite fun but there is a lot to be desired in terms of technique, storytelling, what the point of the video is. I started making these videos so that I could show you what goes on in the background. So this is a test to see if I can make a half decent video of a sexy looking subject. With that in mind, I'm going to show you the video that I've created and then afterwards, I'll tell you how I did it. Weatherman said it was gonna be sunny at sunset. That's the sunset over there. Eagle-eyed viewers, continuity error spotters will realize that I'm wearing different clothes throughout this video and that's because it and that's because it's been made over the course of three days in total the video was originally going to be called skyline for a day but I've actually had it for three days in total first time somebody else is driving it this time I get to drive it so I've got it all weekend so you'll see on some of my most recent videos I've been on a bit of a quest to make smooth footage as smooth as possible so I've been using a combination of drones sliders gimbals fold-up bikes uh, skateboards I'm just experimenting so this video is an accumulation of all of my experiments essentially lots of beeping this car just beeps and I don't know what the beeps mean what does this beep mean Okay, so that's enough talking, let's get on with the video. Okay, so as promised, I'm now going to show you exactly how I made this video. So I'm quite a methodical person. First thing I did was put together a storyboard. That gives me an idea of what kit I need, and if I don't have that kit, then I need to borrow it, rent it, steal it, whatever's necessary. This opening shot was filmed on the DJI Spark using the automated rocket feature, which is a part of the app. If any of the drone footage looks a bit funky, there's a reason behind this. Because I borrowed the drone, it was set to 30 frames per second. The rest of the video is shot at 25 frames per second, and they don't particularly sit well together. It's frustrating, but I can't fix it now. The detailed shots that you're seeing now, these were all taken on the Canon 80D on a Canovo slider. I bought a one and a half meter slider because I use it for doing video walkthroughs of properties and the bigger the better when it comes to movement within a house. I used a couple of lenses, two of which are the, the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter and the 100 millimeter macro L series. Both of those have built-in stabilization, which is handy. 
As you can see from this video here, the Canovo slider I've got is manual at the moment, but you can buy an add-on motor which automates it for you. The slow motion shots, these were all taken on the Panasonic Lumix LX15, which was a recommendation from my friend Gordon Lang of Camera Labs, so thank you Gordon. Because the slow motion shots have me in them, there's no hiding the fact that I wasn't behind the camera. So thank you to John Reese White, who this was his first time behind the gimbal. Now he rates himself as the number one go-to gimbal guy. So thank you to John. The video is just a testament to how good John is. Nothing to do with the gimbal. On that note, I am using the Zion Crane, which is the second version, version two, and the shutter speed was set to 100 frames per second, quarter of normal speed of video. The shots inside the car, once again, they were shot on the Canon 80D. This time it's on a Gorilla Pod and the, the lens had stabilization built in. This part of the video where I'm circling the Nissan GTR, I was actually riding on a fold up bike, a Brompton, borrowed again, uh, and that was shot on a DJI Osmo. The scenes where we are following the car or pursuing the car, these were all shot on a GoPro. And in my opinion, these are the weakest parts of the video, technically, because the GoPro just falls, falls down in comparison to all of the other cameras used here. I didn't have much faith in the suction cup that was holding the GoPro, so I did a bit of a test. Uh, I put it on my window at home and I left it there for three days. After three days, it was still there, happy days. I then drove down the motorway with my GoPro attached to my car and I've still got a GoPro. The aerial shots at Madeira Drive, I was driving the GTR this time. The drone that was flown by Martin Johnson, my friend, who lent me the drone in the first place. We were having all sorts of errors that morning. Uh, it wanted an update. It said it was too cold to fly, various other error messages, but we got some shots in the end. So thank you, Martin. And finally, I took all of this hours and hours worth of footage and I crammed it down to a few minutes. I hope this has been entertaining, maybe educational, whether you're into cars, creating videos or just the tech that I've been using. So if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to see some more awesome future content. Unfortunately, all good things come to an end and I've got to give the car back today. Uh, hopefully it's been worth it and the video turns out okay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.